So let's talk about Microsoft 365 Enterprise, the big brother version of 365. So what you get is two versions in 365 Enterprise, one called E3 and one called E5. Essentially, what you're getting over and above Microsoft 365 Business is enhanced security features. So there's quite a lot of these. We're just going to delve into them in a second. And then you also get the Windows phone system. So you might think with previous versions, you've got Skype for business. You can call everybody. Well, of course, you can on Skype. But the problem is you can't call landlines. You can't call premium numbers. And that's what you can do with the E5 version. Talking about telephony with Skype for Business, well essentially we've replaced our old telephone system here at Tech Quarters and what it did was uh, implement landline type numbers for everybody here but even though they were actually accessing it through their headsets which were all wireless attached into Skype for Business it gives us you know call cues, it allows us to forward, it allows us to record messages coming through to the phones so it's a proper telephone system. So with the e version, what you actually do need to do with the Windows phone system is add a call plan. Each user gets 1200 minutes allocated to their telephone system. That is then grouped by the business so you get a whole pool worth of minutes for the company. Let's talk about the enhanced security within Microsoft 365 Enterprise E5. Okay, so this is really one of the strongest parts of E5. It's fantastic for general data protection regulation policies and uh, security attached to that. So let's start with Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now, the normal 365 business contains this, but it doesn't have the advanced elements. So Windows Defender is basically antivirus, malware screening on all of the desktops. But what the advanced element does is it starts to look for malware that's hit all the desktops and laptops that looks weird, something strange going on, uh, and, and then it reports it in a dashboard in, in the Office 365 portal. So the next one is Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. And what this does is it's fantastic. If emails come through with attachments or certain nefarious links, they'll send you the email first, but then it will scan the documents before it gets downloaded into the email that you've just received. And it will also screen out any uh, nefarious links or malicious links that it sees, so you won't get any of those. And now Azure Active Directory Plan 2. So what this enables you to do is connect to your Azure Active Directory, but it also does some risk assessment for all the administrators. It creates a dashboard for them. It enables them to have a look at what users are connecting to. So with a single sign-on capability, are they connecting to certain types of applications that are not the company applications? So it's a better reporting mechanism for connection of users to Azure Active Directory. It's great for the administrators. What it also gives you is the multi-factor authentication. So this is great if you're getting spam and it's sending you to spoofed websites. It won't allow that uh, malware to get to your passwords because you're multi-factor authenticating. Next is Azure Information Protection Plan 2. So what you can do is create policies in your business that perhaps surround things like credit card numbers or personal identifiable information and it will stop any of those from leaking out of the organization without them being encrypted. So if something got out of the organization you can apply policies that automatically encrypts those uh, pieces of information. Microsoft Cloud App Security is the next thing. So what that enables you to do is to monitor the single side ons from all of the users, making sure that there's nothing nefarious going on. Again, great for administrators. The next one is Advanced eDiscovery, really important tool for GDPR. So what it enables you to do is search all of your data, but sub-search that data on separate sets of criteria and data that have different meta tags. And now customer lockbox. Customer lockbox, if uh, say Microsoft is working on a case with you, they don't automatically get access to your Office 365 tenant. But with lockbox, what it enables you to do is to segregate a particular area that you're working on, maybe a certain set of users, maybe a certain area in SharePoint, and you can allocate Microsoft to that so they can start to work on the case with you in that particular area of your tenant. And finally, you get advanced data governance. Really important one again for GDPR. It's all about data loss prevention. So you can apply company policies to certain documents, to certain types of information that will stop it from leaking out of your environment. 
It's the last two applications that you get with Microsoft 365 Enterprise is Power BI Pro. So Power BI Pro, that gives you enhanced reporting, enhanced slicing and dicing, all presented through a web browser. Um, and then the final one is My Analytics. My Analytics is like Dell, but it gives you analytics on all of the data that you're using within your tenant. So hopefully that gave you a great uh, rundown of what Microsoft 365 Enterprise is over and above Microsoft 365 Business. If you want to buy this, what you're going to be looking at is the E3 version is circa £30 per user per month, and the E5 version is circa £50 per user per month. So there are available now. Get out there guys and buy it. It's a great product.